everyone, welcome, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I will be doing a day in the life of a doctor and a mom. So it is currently 7 a.m. and I need to go to my first shift. So I need to eat breakfast and do some skincare, just morning care and everything like that. So let's get into the video. Okay, so I literally just woke up maybe like 20 minutes ago. I'm gonna first brush my teeth and wash my face and then I'm gonna go downstairs and eat some breakfast. Okay, so I just finished brushing my teeth and washing my face, and I only have a limited time to do anything else. So I want to go make breakfast real quick, and then I'm going to get Leah up and ready for daycare because her daycare is in a few minutes. So I'm going to prepare breakfast, and then I'm going to take a quick shower. I'm going to quickly make some breakfast. I think I'm going to make some pancakes, so let's do that. Okay, I literally have to hurry up because I hear Leah crying. Okay, I'm going to make myself some coffee to wake me up. Okay, so I have my coffee now. I'm going to quickly eat. Okay, so I just finished eating breakfast. It's 8.30 now, so I'm gonna go get Leah up for daycare and get her dressed. I'm literally on a time crunch because I need to get to work ASAP. Okay, so she's up now. I'm going to go get her changed. Okay, so now Leah's changed and now I'm just gonna put her in her high chair so she can eat or drink her milk. And now I'm going to go take a shower and get ready to go to my job and get started my work because I am busy today and we're short staff so I need to be there on time. Okay, so I just finished getting ready and I just finished putting on some makeup and this makeup came out so good. I recently got some new products to try and I love them, like literally 10 out of 10. So recently, Leah been doing so good on drinking like her baby bottles on her own recently and i've just been so impressed like she's learning so fast but anyways i only have like 15 minutes left until i have to get to my job so i want to quickly go get her diaper bag and everything for daycare ready okay so her bags are over here i'm just gonna grab it okay now we're gonna go get in the car i'm gonna just store this back in the fridge because no one's eating it and like i don't want to waste it so i'll just put it back in the fridge and i'm gonna grab her oh my gosh she finished drinking all her milk okay that's perfect so now she doesn't have to go to the daycare hungry but we're gonna go get in the car now let me just turn the tv off in the fireplace okay now we can head out i'm gonna turn the lamp off okay so now we're all good to go we're doing good on time guys and i recently bought a new car and look how good it looks like i sold my g-wagon but i bought this car and it's so pretty i originally wanted it in black but i guess i got like this off-white color but it's so nice inside too and it has three seats in the back but overall i just love it and i got it like last month but it's so cute and also the sunset is literally so nice right now okay so she's in the car now let's head off to the daycare and i'll see you guys once i'm at work Okay, so we made it to the daycare. So I'm gonna just grab Leah in her daycare bag. Okay, so let's head inside. I'm gonna just drop her off at her classroom like I always do. And I'm literally running low on gas. So I need to stop at the gas station really quick. Okay, so I just dropped Leah off and talked to the daycare director. Okay, now I can hurry up and go to the gas station. And I think after work, I might do some like tennis, like because I have not done that in a while. And tennis is like one of my favorite sports. So I'll probably do that. 
with some friends i'm not sure yet though it depends how busy i am after my work but i'm gonna quickly get some gas because i'm at like half a tank Okay, so I just finished getting some gas. Now we're all good to go. And I'm literally like five minutes late. So hopefully I don't get yelled at. But I'm going to work now. And of course I'm stuck at a red light. Oh my gosh, this happens like every morning. But hopefully today is a good day. And hopefully we can do some things and get productive. Because most of the time I'm literally just on the phone. Like it looks like I'm like the first one here. Besides like the director. But... I'm heading in for my shift. I have until 8.50 to like 6 p.m. So we'll see how this goes. But I need to go to the front to get some of my paperwork and answer some phone calls. Because I know there's phone calls waiting for me to be answered and dealt with. So I'll see you guys later. Okay, so I just finished dealing with some phone calls and typing up some things but now i need to get my clipboard and help out my first patient okay i think it's in here okay i found my clipboard like this is all the stuff i have to go through and all the things i have to look over so i'm gonna go help out my first patient and i'll see you guys shortly after i'm done Phew. okay i think this is the last patient before my shift is over so i'm gonna take this last person erica gonzalez you can come up for your appointment okay so i'm gonna have you follow me to like one of the rooms and i can assist you there okay okay so i'm gonna have you sit over here and I'll help you. So uh, you called in about migraines and that you think it's something in your body that is making you feel this type of way? Uh, yes, because I've been having these powerful and painful headaches and I looked it up on Google and it says it might be migraines, so I'm assuming that's what it is. So if someone like can check me out, that would be appreciated. Okay, so I can um assist you with like these medicines that I recommend. I'm not like a specific doctor. I'm more like a hospital worker, but I can try to see if these can help. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's see if this will help. I think it's in the cabinet right here. Oh my gosh, we actually have none available. Okay. Um, we actually have none available, so I can, like, talk to your doctor about it if you give me your insurance up at the front desk and he or they can, like, prescribe them for you because we actually don't have any left we actually need to order some more so if you can follow me um back up to the front then discuss your insurance then oh um okay uh do you guys know when you get your prescriptions or medicines back in restock so we don't actually have like a set current date but whenever like we get them back in stock we can let your insurance know or your doctor know and they will give it to you um okay that sounds great thank you so just follow me back up to the front and I'll assist you there. Okay, so I'll just take you right over here. And then you'll just need to give me your insurance number. Okay, I'm going to put it into the system and contact your doctor about it. And then you should be able to have your medicine then for your migraines. Okay, and do you think this is like a common thing to have or is it just me just having it as like... So I don't think this is like a common thing to have we don't really have people that come in here for like migraines we do every now and then but i think this just might be a bodily type situation so okay thank you so much and have a nice day oh my gosh my shift was so long today that it's literally almost sunset and i need to go pick up leah from daycare so that was my last patient out of like 20 of them today and today has just been so crazy okay so let me go pick her up real quick and then be on my way back home to do like an exercise or something because it's kind of getting dark and i don't really want to leave leah at the park like that with me unless someone's watching her so okay so now i'm finally home after a long day now i can finally relax so i'm gonna give leah a quick bath because that's what i usually do every time she comes home from daycare so i'm gonna give her a bath and then while i give her a bath i'm gonna just cook some dinner Okay, so while she's in there, let's go find something to eat because then after that, I need to share myself. But 
I'm probably gonna make some steak. I'm not sure yet. Let's just see what we have first. Can't even think because today I had such a long day. Um, so let's just do let's just do some steak because we haven't had that in a while. While that finishes cooking, I'm just gonna get Leah out of the bathtub because she's been in there long enough and I'm just gonna put cocoa melon on for her because that's what she likes to watch. Okay, so it's now time for dinner. So now I'm just going to put this on the table and eat dinner with Leah. And then I'm just gonna go take a shower, relax, and then probably go to sleep because I am so tired and exhausted. Okay, so we just finished eating and it's literally nighttime. I can't believe that the sun went down so quick. But now I'm just gonna lay Leah down for bed and I'm gonna take a shower. So thank you guys so much for watching a day in a life of a mom and a doctor trying to do both at the same time because doing so is fairly hard thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in the next one bye